It's a big day of reopening in Santa Clara County. KPIX 5's Kit Doe is live at Valley Fair Mall in San Jose, where indoor shopping is happening for the first time in months. Kit? Yes, it's been a long time. Word from the county came down officially at 10 a.m. this morning, and Valley Fair wasted no time in opening its doors. And retail is allowed to resume operations at 25% capacity. It was mostly empty before lunchtime, but many customers, like Scott Jackson, just happened to be in the area and strolled in. We felt safe and everything in there, so. Inside Journey Shoe Store, they have been surviving with online sales, but we're thrilled that they got the word last Friday to get ready to reopen today. We're actually doing everything that we can do by way of wearing our masks, sanitizing um, in between customers, chairs, making sure that if there are any returns or exchanges, that we're setting them aside for the appropriate time. Mark Lara was one of the first customers in the door. I mean, I'm, I'm nervous, but I try to keep my distance. I try to listen. I try to follow the rules. So, but if it's a very packed area, I wouldn't, I wouldn't um, put myself in that position. The county admits they're still trying to define what 25% capacity actually means. In the name of um, transparency, we're still trying to figure out what that exactly looks like mm -hmm. operationally. So we're working with the state. We're working um, uh, with uh, industry um, leadership to make sure that what we put out is clear. Like this. At Tracy Salon in downtown San Jose, owner Tracy Nguyen says the new order allows her to do hair indoors, but nails must still be done outside. She says it's frustrating with the heat and smoke because customers want to be indoors. So you're saying there's no difference? No difference. It's no difference. Does it make any sense to you? To me, it's not making any sense. And the county's order still prohibits services indoors that involve touching the face. For Julie Dewhurst, the owner of Ritual Day Spa in Campbell, she says it's unfair and unreasonable. I have maxed out all my credit cards. I used my PPP loan a long time ago. I have asked for rent reduction. I've gotten a little bit, not much, but my savings are drained. To be honest, most of us are not going to be able to last much longer. Now, Kit, you mentioned you didn't see anyone keeping track of how many people were actually entering the mall. So, seems like that 25% capacity, they're going to still have to figure some things out. Yeah, lots of uh, details to iron out. You would think that they would have somebody who kind of punches and counts how many people when they come in the door and out the door, but that it certainly was not happening this mm -hmm. morning. It'll be curious to see if they uh, get that figured out later on this week. Yeah, meanwhile, the stores want people to come in. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. All right, Kit, thank you.